Your activity pack contains a PVA glue pot, three blank cards, and three decorative packs. Other items you will need are a fork, a pen, a felt tip pen, some scissors, possibly some decorative tape, and a glue stick. First of all, to protect your table, find a gluing surface such as a piece of cardboard or an old piece of paper. Get your blank card ready and open up your first pack. Pick up the items in your packet and start to position these on the card. Lay things on top of one another and adjust the arrangement as you see fit. Once you're happy, start to lay down the accessories such as the bows and flowers in your pack. Once you have settled with the arrangement that you like, you can begin to think about gluing down the items. You can either use the sticky patches contained, a glue stick or your small tub of PVA glue. You may have items at home that you might want to use, such as decorative tape, to replace the cardboard strip. Find a pen or a felt tip pen to write your card message in the blank area you have left on your card. Card 2 is our Easter bunting card. Cut triangles to create the bunting for your card. To begin, find a pen and some scissors. Lay these down whilst you look at what's in your pack. Lay down the widest piece of the decorative paper on your blank card and pick up the other strip to mark out the bunting triangles. Pick up your pen and mark out the triangles that you will be needing as your bunting. Do two centimetres along the bottom and one centimetre in from the side and cut your triangle shape. Once you have this triangle shape, you can then use that on the piece of strip and use it as a template to cut the other triangles. approximately five triangles to make a nice strip of bunting. Use your PVA glue or a glue stick to stick the triangle shapes to the ribbon. At this stage, do not attach the ribbon to the card. This allows you the opportunity to adjust the arrangement either as a straight line or as a tilted line, depending on how you like your card to look. To begin, lay down the widest strip of decorative paper. You may want to adjust the width depending on the design of your card. Cut the decorative strip to the card size. Lay the ribbon down either horizontally or tilted depending on how you would like your card design to look. In this example, the triangles for the bunting have not been yet attached to the ribbon. Evenly place the triangles for the bunting along your ribbon. Position the triangle shapes onto your card. This egg shape has been cut with waves and then attached to a piece of backing paper. To make one of these, Take two pieces of card the same size but with different patterns. Take your scissors and hold the shape together 
and cut either a zigzag or a weave. Now position the other egg shapes that are in your pack onto the blank card. Place these randomly and overlap them for a good effect. Add a bow. Once you're happy with the arrangement of all your pieces, get your glue stick or the pot of PVA glue and attach all the items to the blank card. Trim off any excess and then add your message to the front of the card. For this Easter card, you will need a fork to make the pom-pom for the chick's body. Your pack contains a pom-pom and enough wool to make a pom-pom for yourself. Take your fork and cut a length of wool approximately the same length as your fork. Position the piece of wool down the middle of your fork and hold in place. Place the length of wool onto your fork. Hold in place with your thumb and tightly wind the wool around the fork head. Continue to wrap the wool around until you have a good bundle of wool on your fork head. Now, use that initial piece of wool that you put through the middle of the fork, wind it round your fork, place the fork on a flat surface to help you do this, and pull the two lengths together and tie a tight knot. Now, gently push the bundle of wool to the top of the fork head. Use the ends of the strand of wool that you initially used in the middle of the fork to tie a second knot to make sure that the bundle of wool is very secure. Leave the bundle of wool on the fork and get your pair of scissors. Hold the fork and the bundle of wool and slowly snip along the edge of the fork. Once you have completed one side, take the scissors and do the same on the other side. Position the blade along the edge of the fork and keep snipping the wool until you reach the end. Now, with all the strands cut, gently pull the bundle of wool off the fork. At this stage, it doesn't much look like a round pom-pom, however, we're about to give it a haircut. With your scissors, trim off the longest strands of the wool into a circular motion around the pom-pom to create a nice shape. Continue to cut until you have a nice shape that you can use for the body of your chick on the Easter card. Well done, you have made a nice fluffy pom-pom for your card. Let's now bring your pom-pom to life. 
take your pom-pom and use either a glue stick or your pot of PVA glue to attach the pom-pom to your card. Apply a good amount of glue to your card. Then take your pom-pom and firmly position the pom-pom onto the glue patch. Apply the glue stick or the PVA glue to the circular piece of yellow felt and press firmly onto the card. Take the googly eye and apply a small amount of glue to the back of the eyepiece and attach on to the yellow felt circle. Your trick is now starting to take shape. Next item is to make its beak. Cut a small section of black card and then with your scissors, shape it into a beak like shape. Again, apply a little glue to the back of the surface and position in place. Now you'll notice your trick needs some legs. So take your black ballpoint pen and do a long line with three short lines at the end. Well done. To finish off the card, your pack contains some other decorative items. Arrange these on the card as you like to finish off your card design. The very last thing your chick needs are some tail feathers. These can be positioned in the back and pressed into the pom-pom. To finish off, just apply a liberal amount of glue to the very end of the feather and then press into the pom-pom firmly. Finally, Decide what you would like to call your Easter card. Take a pen or a felt tip pen and add your message to the top of the card. Enjoy sending your three Easter cards to your friends and family.